Welcome back to the Sledgehammer's Edge Power Pack series. I just do hope that these Power Pack series, which I craft with so much of passion and dedication and research just for you, is empowering you the way it was meant to be. Today's Power Pack is all about personal branding, something that I specialize in for all my clients. And the reason why I am talking about personal branding today is because a large cross section of my viewers wrote into me and requested me to talk about personal branding. Now, why personal branding? It is so, so important. Every individual, very especially students, very especially students, because students, you are very soon going to move out of your, the confines of your institute. And you're going to walk into a huge battlefield for the next four decades of your life chasing a career. Whether it is professional or whether it is entrepreneurial. You need, more than anyone else, to create a personal brand for yourself. Before you even step into this battlefield. Well, apart from students, young budding entrepreneurs, young professionals, um, young, uh, young uh, artists. Uh, performers, writers, authors, bloggers, PR professionals, you just name it. Personal branding is very, very critical today. Remember, you live in a planet which has 8 billion people. And that's a huge number of competitors, so to speak. Personal branding, 20 years ago, my God, it would have been a huge challenge. Today, with social media handles like Twitter, Blogger, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, you have a plethora, an absolute plethora of mediums to work through to get yourself effectively personally branded. Let's get to my work, let's get to my whiteboard. And Let's see now what we have here. Six sledgehammering steps to effective personal branding. What is personal branding? Let's explore that. Very simple. Personal branding is what shapes the perception of an individual, which is you, in the eyes of the public. Personal branding is all about building your reputation creating an image of yourself for the outside world and marketing yourself as an individual. And finally, essentially effective personal branding results in you becoming the story that's told about you when you're not in the room, which means that your communication stays amongst people who are connected with you through your efforts of personal branding. Even when you're not connected with them through media. Personal branding is of great importance. And why? Let's check it out. Personal branding effectively helps your target demographic to find you with ease. Students, Imagine, you created your website, you created your, 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 your communicative communication ideas, your strategies, and now you're working on various social media mediums to get to who? Organizations, HR personnel. That's your target demographic. Similarly, artists, performers, all, every individual has a target demographic. And there's no better way reaching out to them than it is through personal branding. Personal branding allows more people to get to know who you are and how you bring value, hence builds your credibility. And personal branding yourself in an authentic way, authentic way by showing your personality is an excellent way of differentiating yourself from others in your field and developing a personal brand. How do you make yourself different from everyone else? By 
creating your own communication, which therefore and thereby creates your personal brand. Now, Robert Kiyosaki said something very interesting. He said, if you're not a brand, you are a commodity. That's the difference between a person who knows how to brand himself or herself, another person who just waits for the world to discover him or her. Don't be a commodity, be a brand. Right, six sledgehammering steps to effective personal branding. Here we go. Focus. First important thing, focus. Decide on your key message. Be specific and stick to it. Focused messaging makes it easier to create content for your personal branding and create a niche and then create a micro niche. It will make it easier for people to remember who you are. So these three points, I hope you're noting it down. Very, very crit critical because you need to be highly focused when you are personal, personally branding yourself. One key message, don't complicate with too many messages. One key message, one key theme. Focus messaging always makes it easier to create content for your personal branding. And get create an A niche and then a micro niche. For example, my niche is what? My niche is personal branding. What's a micro niche? Students, the youth. That's my micro niche. Young generation, teaching them how to brand themselves. So create a niche and then create a micro niche in your communication. Your life is controlled by what you focus on, Tony Robbins says. And that's true, isn't it? Your life can only be focused it can be only controlled by what you focus on. So focus, first important tool. Next, be genuine. Be genuine and authentic. People can see right through you faster than you can think. Let me tell you that. A lot of people, when they get to brand, in, in, into personal branding, they get so carried away with themselves that they get into fiction. And that's not a good idea. Communicate facts. Fiction does well only for authors, not for general people like you who want to create yourself into a brand. First, become the blockbuster before you can teach people how to burst blocks. This is very, very critical, especially if you're in the coaching industry. You should have learned how to handle challenges in life before you teach others how to challenge, uh, handle their challenges. In the same way, in the very same way, as an individual, if your communication is inspirational, no matter who you are, student, professional, entrepreneur, artist, performer, writer, whoever, if your communication is inspirational, it has to be a communication that is based on a true experience of yours. So being genuine and genuinely communicating is the second most important aspect in personal branding. Judah Smith says, be the same person privately, publicly, and personally. In other words, be 100% transparent. Be a book, open book. Be an open book. Next, creative, create positive impacts. When you're personally branding yourself and you're communicating it to the world, create positive impacts. Communicate positively. The world needs it as much as you do. Don't get negative. Don't get toxic. Be, keep your communication extremely positive. Inspire with personal stories. If I can do it, so can you. I do it all the time. I don't know whether you're connected with my other communication, which is called the musings of an old maverick. And I always take it, take off with it and saying, welcome back to the musings of an old maverick. Welcome to the archives of my life. And every communication there is 100% genuine of what I have experienced and what I've learned and therefore inspire you through it. So inspire with personal stories. If I can do it, so can you. And positive impacts make people tell your story. Nothing can boost personal branding better than word of mouth. So if you are talking about things that you achieved in life as a young student or young entrepreneur or whoever, 
And those are things that you're proud of because you achieve them and you are genuinely feeling good about it. And you would like to tell the world, if I can achieve this, so can you, it'll get talked about. It will get talked about. Your story will get talked about and nothing, nothing can boost personal branding better than word of mouth. Don't use social media to impress people. Use it to impact people. That's what Dave Willis says. How true, isn't it? Provide value. That's the fourth step. The fourth step is provide value. Communicate or inspiring content. Make your target demographic want to reach out to you when they need to. Every communication has to be solutions providing oriented. I am right now communicating to you solutions providing. Isn't it? I'm telling you how to personally brand yourself. Solutions providing. You want your target demographic to reach out to you? Talk about the things that you've done. Talk about the things, how much it's taken you to achieve what you've achieved. And bring in that awe-inspiring feeling that you absolutely enjoyed doing it. Your target demographic will reach out to you for more. Simon Sinek says something really, really nice. The value we provide most to others is the same value we appreciate most from others. The fifth tip, be consistent. Consistency is the hallmark to success in anything and everything that we do as an individual. Consistency is the secret recipe that winning personal brands have in common. Be consistent, both in communication and content. Don't add variety. Jazz singers don't sing blues now and then. Like I said, niche, micro niche. Stick to it. Stick to one communication. Stick to one brand of communication. Consistency doesn't equal monotony. You have 8 billion people to reach out to. So you might feel you're getting, it's, it's monotonous talking about the same thing over and over again or talking about just one particular facet of your life. That facet is your employability. That facet is what brings in the fame. That facet is what is going to make the whole world look up to you for. If you have a multiple number of facets talking about, you're going to confuse the entire world. No one understands. Therefore, what are you mastering in? You're a jack of all trades but you don't seem to be a master in any, right? Actions become very effective when they meet the habit of consistency. It's anonymous. Be consistent in your communications. Be consistent in your brand communication. Show up as often as you can every day if possible, but be consistent. Finally, create a community for yourself. Effective personal branding naturally leads to a creation of a community consisting of your target demographic. See, when I started communicating, empowering people, right, with my vision, what was my vision? My vision was very simple. I wanted to create a universe of collective wisdom where people like you could walk into it, inspire themselves with all the wisdom available, think from a high level of consciousness, and then turn every dream they nurtured into a reality to change the way the world exists. That's my vision. And that one singular vision is my, I personally branded that vision. And here I am with you. And you're there with me, listening to me. Like another, uh, uh, hundreds of others who do so. That is effective personal branding leading to a community. Because now I have a large tribe, just like you, who walk in to my space when I'm communicating, communicating the way I'm doing right now. Personal branding is a lifelong affair and works well when you create a community. And you will eventually create a community with your personal branding because people will connect with you. Your target demographic will connect with you and they'll connect with you for a lifetime if your personal branding and your communication is really, really good and awe-inspiring. 
A community is a legacy you will always be remembered by. Won't I be remembered by it? We all will be remembered by what we contributed to our community as a human being of high integrity, as a person who wants to share each and every moment of their existence and inspire others. That is my personal brand. And that should be the personal brand of each and every individual on planet Earth. Blake Jamison says, building a personal brand is much bigger than building a business. The only exit strategy is a legacy. So these are the six effective sledgehammering steps to create your own personal brand. When you eventually successfully create a personal brand, you will be very successful in whatever you do because you would have created a tribe that supports you, a tribe that is with you, and a tribe that you can always reach out to anytime you need to take that one step ahead which is a tough one to do. Or when you're at a crossroad, it's your tribe that will actually give you multiple intelligent suggestions to take a left, left or to take a right. So that's personal branding for you. I hope you enjoyed this power pack. Reach out to me if you want to know more about personal branding. Reach out to me if you want to know how to brand yourself and let's walk or traverse a journey together on personally branding you. So ciao for now. Have a wonderful time till the next power pack. You take care.